Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, it's time to have some fun. How many of you sleep in a bed? How many of you sleep in a crib? How many of you sleep in a great big bed? Well, today we're gonna explore all the different types of beds that different animals have. And we're gonna explore whether they use those beds to sleep in or just to raise their babies in. We'll have fun today looking at the animals and checking them out to see where do those animals sleep while we read the very best bed. The Very Best Bed by Rebecca Ray. The little gray squirrel was so busy finding nuts and seeds to store away for the winter that he hadn't noticed it was getting cold and dark. He needed to find a cozy bed for the night. There was a nice den nearby under a fallen tree, but it was already very, very full with a big bear. Could he find a nest up in the old pine tree? But then he heard the sound of a barred owl hooting. It sounded like, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? The owl was just waking up. Soon he would start hunting in the moonlight. The squirrel jumped up onto a great pile of rocks. There was a safe little cave there, but when he peeked inside, he saw a red fox snuggled up with his warm, bushy tail. Ooh, what if the fox woke up hungry too? It might be safer up in the tall maple tree. So up he climbed, up, up, up. A family of bats was hanging upside down from the branches. The squirrel tried it, but it made his head ache. Ouch! With a big jump, the squirrel leaped to a nearby apple tree. Down below, he saw a trail of nibbled apples. They looked delicious. Two deer rested there. It would be warm to snuggle between them, but they woke up and started to move away. Deer only sleep for a few hours at a time. He followed a cottontail rabbit, hop, hop, hopping towards a group of thick young spruce trees. It was heading for a small hollow in the grass, lined with leaves. What a perfect place to sleep. Too bad it was only big enough for one rabbit. Down by the water's edge, the squirrel saw ducks and geese sleeping on rafts of reeds and cattails. The gentle waves rocked them back and forth, but the squirrel did not want to get his own little feet wet. A ripple of water caught his eye. He watched two seals bobbing upright and a harbor porpoise gently rolling on the surface of the water. It looked like they didn't mind sleeping in the water at all. Imagine that! At the pond on his way back to the woods, the squirrel saw a big beaver slap his flat tail on the water and dive down into his lodge in the middle of the pond. But the squirrel certainly did not want to get his fluffy tail wet. A wet tail was just as bad as wet feet. The sky was getting darker, but the squirrel noticed a tiny hole at the base of an oak tree. He peeked inside and saw a chipmunk sleeping on a bed of leaves and grass. There were lots of seeds nearby in case he woke up hungry. It looked very, very cozy, especially with a snack so handy but there wasn't quite enough room for a squirrel, too. So the squirrel began to climb higher up the oak tree. He saw a mama raccoon resting on a branch next to a bigger hole in the tree. But when he looked inside, there was a nest full of raccoon babies. It didn't look like they would be getting to sleep anytime soon. The squirrel kept climbing higher and higher and higher, and there, sheltered under a branch, was an empty woodpecker's nest. 
quick as a flash, the squirrel scampered down the tree and gathered some grass and moss and leaves. Then he made the very best bed there ever was. He curled up under his fluffy tail and slept and slept and slept all night long. Do you think the squirrel had the very best bed of all? See if you can find all the animals in their beds. Squirrels, they're cute and they're very busy. They're usually very busy collecting nuts and seeds that they bury in the dirt. But sometimes they're very busy building their own nests. They build their nests out of grass and leaves and mud and they sleep in that nest all year long. They're able to sleep way up high because squirrels can climb trees. But any squirrel that can climb up a tree also needs to be able to climb back down that tree. Squirrels are pretty good at making their own nests, but sometimes they might want to check out other animals' nests, like this woodchuck. The woodchuck doesn't sleep in a nest. He actually sleeps in a burrow under the ground. A burrow is a tunnel that leads down deep into the dirt. Another animal that sleeps down in a burrow is a bear. A bear sleeps in a burrow in the winter time. This is where they hibernate. The burrow is also called a den. An animal that doesn't sleep in a burrow is the barred owl. The barred owl sleeps in a branch in the tree. Many other birds sleep in branches in trees just like the barred owl. However, some animals only use their dens for having babies. So this is another den for these red fox babies called kits. These kits are playing with each other and they're not letting their brother come out of the den. Red foxes only use their dens when it's time to have their babies. So like the barred owl, when it's not time to have babies, they just find a place to sleep somewhere outside, not in their dens. Bats sleep in a tree upside down. They hang on to the tree branch using their feet and they hang upside down while they sleep. In the wintertime, they sleep in a cave. Deer, however, sleep right on top of the ground. They sleep on top of the ground curled up in a ball and they only sleep for about three hours at a time. They have to keep moving or other animals might find them and try to eat them. Another animal that doesn't sleep on top of the ground but in a nest in the ground is the rabbit. They also have to be aware of other animals wanting to eat them. Animals like ducks sleep on top of the ground as well and they usually sleep on the shoreline or sometimes they'll even sleep in the water, but not when they're nesting. So if you can see, the mom is behind the dad. She's the brown duck. She's sitting on a nest. The nest is where she keeps her babies. When the babies hatch, they don't use the nest anymore. Beavers sleep inside of a lodge that they build out of wood and mud. The entrance to their lodge is underneath the water, so they have to swim there to get inside of the lodge. Inside of that, even though it looks like a big mound of dirt, there's a hollowed out hole, and that's where they spend their time and sleep. You can see this beaver is going into his lodge by going underneath the water and entering his hole in the lodge. Beavers use their lodges all year long, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Another animal that uses its home all year long is the chipmunk. Chipmunks make tunnels underneath the ground. They make their tunnels big enough so that they can have a kitchen, a bathroom, and a bedroom where they sleep. 
They store their food in their tunnels underneath the ground, so in winter time, they can have enough food to help them survive the entire winter. They sleep in their tunnels all summer and winter. Another animal that uses its bed all year long is the raccoon. Raccoons make their beds inside of a hole in a tree. Typically, the raccoon uses that hole in the tree to sleep in during the daytime because they're nocturnal. That means that they're usually active only at night and they sleep in the hole during the day. Well, all these animals have really, really great homes, but I think the squirrel has one of the best homes of all. His bed is completely covered in leaves and branches and it keeps him warm all the time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, goodbye, we sure did have some fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about where animals sleep today. You know, it's gonna be a great weekend this weekend. See if you can get outside and find some animal beds in the snow. Sometimes it's easy to see those animal beds because animals leave tracks and they leave signs behind to help you to see where their animal beds are. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.